My name is Dr Melanie Kotha. I'm a reader and head of centre, the Centre of Cell and Tissue Research here at the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital. So what we have done, we've invited um, school children aged 15 to 16, year 11s, to come and join us to experience what we do, to see and work with students, to work with staff, to work with clinicians, engineers um, and scientists, to see how we put it together, how we specifically put, try and get science into the care and treatment of patients. Today we've got uh, 11 um, sick form students who are here to experience the interface between engineering and surgery and healthcare. So to look at the ways that we've developed uh, bioengineering for reasons of education and for reasons of um, healthcare. And today, with this session, focus purely on how we can use computers and engineering to give us a real surgical simulation so that surgeons in training don't have to operate on people to get their training. They can operate in a safe, controllable and testable environment. Today what we're doing is a workshop teaching uh, how we, we use technologies for developing the next generation of uh, assistive and rotation uh, devices. The students are also learning how the principles of haptic, haptic interfaces and haptic science are used to develop, for instance, training simulators to assist surgeons with specific procedures to learn the skills they need before they actually go and practice on real people. It's important, I think, for everyone to know that it's open for everyone um, and just to apply and to join us for a couple of days.